On this video, we're going to have a short familiarization on the layout of the Ectis workstation and now we are using a JRC Ectis. So let us see what are the menu function. But first, let's go to the panel. We have an electronic bearing line. We have a radar panel for radar overlay. We have a keyboard. We have a mouse, we have alert acknowledge, and here we have a power button. And on the, on the monitor, we have on the right or in the left upper corner, we have the switch scale and range. We have throw motion, relative motion, three modes button. We have up or north up, head up, course up button. We have a base display, standard display, and if you want to show all the objects on the chart, you just press all. We have user determine objects on the chart. We have the chart on the original scale button. We have own ship on the center button, event marker. And on the right, we have the modes. But as of now, it's on the primary actus. We have also heading indicator, speed through the water, course over ground, speed over ground on the right side, and it, the data is gathered from GPS2. We also position indicating here that the main it's using GPS2. Okay. On the left lower, we have the, the main menu, the data off, auto, we have the user chart for editing, we have print screen, we have heading, line off, we have show hide user chart, we have road synchronization of and on. On the menu button, we're going to press left click on the mouse so you can see the menu window having route planning, route monitoring, anchor watch chart, user chart, logbook, DTAIS tools views and alert and if you go to scroll down you can still see some other option like setting chart maintenance maintenance help code input so that is a short familiarization of the layout of the Actis workstation and now we are using a JRC Actis